No matter how many times you've heard it from your coworker, aunt, or cousin, the flu shot most definitely cannot cause the flu. Flu vaccines are made with either inactivated virus, meaning dead virus, or with only a single protein extracted from the flu virus. And nope, neither can give you the flu itself. The downside? Getting the flu shot can sometimes come with some side effects. Here's what you need to know about them and why. Even if you feel like you have the flu after the flu shot, it's not the flu. And remember, if you have any side effects you're worried about, check in with your doc just to be safe. Side effect number one, pain at the injection site. The most common side effect of the flu shot is pain, swelling, and redness around the area on your arm where you got the shot. Discomfort tends to pop up a day or two after you get pricked. Why might your arm hurt beyond the obvious of, well, getting a shot? Dr. Ann Falsey, an infectious disease expert with decades of experience studying the flu vaccine, explains. So you get um, pain generally from having an immune response. Part of the immune response is some inflammation. And so if you get a sore arm, your body is reacting to the, the flu proteins that are in the vaccine. The vaccine is not a live virus. It cannot replicate inside the body. And in particular, influenza is a respiratory virus, so it wouldn't be replicating in muscle or soft tissue anyway. Side effect number two, fainting. If you've ever gotten seriously woozy or even passed out after getting the flu shot, it's understandable. There's a simple explanation for why this can happen too. Dr. Teresa Murray Amato, the chair of emergency medicine at Long Island Jewish Forest Hills explains. Some people are just a little bit afraid or nervous about needles or healthcare in general. And so what can happen sometimes, it's sort of like a fright response. This is not unique to flu shots. This can be just getting your blood drawn, just the idea of getting your blood drawn, seeing a drop of blood. It's actually physiological. It actually happens because you trigger your vagus nerve. Um, and it actually does decrease your heart rate and your blood pressure. The way we fix that is we just lay you down and it gets better. Side effect number three, an allergic reaction. In rare cases, you could have an allergic reaction to an ingredient in the flu shot, namely proteins derived from eggs. Don't worry, if you notice any reaction at all, the reaction is usually mild. You might notice a stuffy nose or hives, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, aka the CDC, still recommends that you get the shot, even if you have an egg allergy. If you have a history of severe allergic reactions, the CDC recommends that you talk to your doctor about how to safely get your vaccine under their watchful eye. Side effect number four, a possible link to a rare neurological disorder. Guillain-Barre syndrome, also known as GBS, is a neurological disorder that affects your peripheral nervous system which is basically the network of nerves that branch out from your brain and spinal cord to other parts of your body and can cause weakness or even full paralysis. And in some rare, keyword rare, cases, it's linked to the flu shot. Don't freak out yet. Research is inconsistent and the possible risk is slim, as in one to two additional cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome for every million doses of flu vaccine administered slim, the CDC estimates. And while experts aren't sure what the exact cause of Guillain-Barre syndrome is, they do know that about two-thirds of cases come up after you've been sick with diarrhea or respiratory illness such as the flu. That means while it would still be incredibly rare, you'd be at a greater risk for GBS from not getting the flu shot and potentially getting the flu than getting pricked. Side effect number five, mild flu-like symptoms. Yep, it's true. After a flu shot, you might experience a low-grade fever, a headache, and muscle aches. Typically, these symptoms are mild and short-lived, lasting about one to two days compared to an average of three to seven with an actual case of the flu. And they're far less severe than the symptoms you'd have with the flu. Dr. Amato explains. What we're trying to do is make you build up some antibodies and some immune response to the, to the flu. And so any, any um, vaccine, even if it's not a live vaccine, can start to have you um, trigger sort of like an inflammatory response. So you're not really getting the flu, you're just building up an immunity. It's not very common, but sometimes people will complain of like body aches or feeling a little achy or low grade fever. And I tell them that's good. Your body's actually building up an immune response so that if you were exposed to the flu, you hopefully will get either very mild or no symptoms at all. If you end up with a bona fide case of the flu after getting the flu shot, it's possible you got the flu before your vaccination started working. After all, it takes about two weeks to be fully protected from the flu shot. It's also possible that your flu shot might not have worked because it's not a foolproof prevention strategy. 
Experts make educated guesses on the strains of flu that are most likely to be circulating each year, and sometimes the shot simply proves more effective than other years. But even if you do get the flu after getting vaccinated, thanks to your shot, you likely won't get as sick as you would without it. Experts suggest everyone six months and older roll up their sleeve before the end of October. After all, despite any side effects you might experience, the flu vaccine is considered the single best way to prevent the flu. Plus, it reduces your chances of having to see a doctor for the flu or landing in the hospital or ICU this winter, making it one small action you can take to free up the healthcare system as we continue to fight COVID-19.